I've written for the Post for the Sevens for over 10 years now and I noticed uh, the yellow area up in the Upper West Stands and had always wanted to write about it. So last two Sevens, 2016, presented the, the opportunity for me to write about Kelly. I realised that the work that's done at the Sevens is just a microcosm of the work. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea that there's a chill out area for 18, so, sorry, 14 to 24 year olds and there's bean bags and basically the children can get some peace and quiet from the sevens, which can be pretty overwhelming. I think that um, I was fortunate enough to have a pretty nice middle class upbringing with good parents and good teachers. Um, but when there was those cases that you would read about with people who'd gone on the wrong side of the tracks, they really did stay with you and make you really wonder how, how life had got that way. A bit like that movie Sliding Doors, how horrendous that would be. But I also think that the one thing that can come out of situations like that is the, is the need for an ongoing education. And I don't think it's education that can begin too young either. I think people often think, oh no, they're too young. But I feel, feel that so much of the work that I hear teenagers say that they've heard through Kelly is fantastic. And I think that they, there is nothing better than, than real stories that come through, that have gone through the school and Kelly's program. That from what teenagers tell me, um, have been absolutely fascinating to them the raw, the real, the guts, the glory and the, and the gory um, and have made children really aware and have made them help them make right choices. So to me that's one of the most fantastic things Kelly does as well, is get to children at a stage where maybe parents might have thought to have those conversations.